For the past year, I've been using the Shimoda X Action 30 for landscape photography. And so far, it's been incredible. And I'm ready to do my long-term review. But is this the perfect bag for landscape photographers? Well, just gotta watch and find out. What's up guys, a Project Photography by another video. And today, people, today, I'm really excited to do my one year long-term full review of the Shimoda Action X30. Now for me, before this bag, I was using the Peat Design Everyday 20 liter version two backpack for landscape photography. And that backpack is nowhere near ideal for landscape photographers. I did make it work, but it's not necessarily something that you wanna be using all the time for landscape photography. In a pinch, it does work, but this bag is definitely more geared for landscape photography. And you know, it is not the perfect bag, but this comes pretty darn close. There are a few quirks and features that I think need to be reworked in the next iteration of this bag, but so far so good. And in this video, I'm mean going over four main aspects of this bag that I kind of want to run through. The first one is going to be storage. Second one is going to be comfortability. Third one is going to be travel. And the last one is going to be long-term durability. And then we're going to close it out with a conclusion. And this review is not going to be something where I dive deep into like what each of the functions and features are. I have another video for that, which is my first impressions video, which you should go check out over here. And that's a pretty good video that kind of summarizes, you know, how it is using the bag first impressions and kind of going through the different little features of it. This is my personal experience, my personal review of this bag and how I feel, what my needs are and so on. With that being said, let's dive into the first part of this video and we are to be talking about storage. Now storage for me is probably one of the most important aspects when it comes to a landscape photography bag. I wanna be able to store everything I possibly can and need for a good hike. And you know, when you're hiking 10 miles or so, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that everything that you're carrying is gonna be safe, secure, and organized manner. And this bag does exactly that. I'm able to fit all of the camera gear I absolutely need, including two cameras. I have a mic in there, I have my monitor, I have all the spare batteries, I even have my filters and so on. Just storing everything makes a, makes a lot of sense in this bag. Right, so we have the medium camera cube and I actually use the Peat Design small camera cube on top. And that for me is perfect because when I'm using the back axis in particular, it's really helpful to have just everything right there. I don't have to go searching through the bag for miscellaneous things. Everything is right there. I can see and I can easily pull stuff out and grab it just as I wanted to. And when you're shooting landscape photography, this makes everything a whole lot more convenient, a lot easier because you don't feel like you have to, you know, search and do all these kinds of things. You can just grab what you need and go. And when, you know, when you're shooting, you really don't want to be thinking about the gear, right? What your gear is supposed to do is get out of the way and let you shoot your landscape photography as you please. And this bag does exactly that. Another thing that's been really crucial and really important for me in this bag has definitely been that top compartment. The part where you can actually roll out the bag, put some stuff in, it has a kind of mesh bottom. It's really, really useful, especially when I'm traveling. I can put extra stuff in there and it just feels like I never run out of room in this bag. And that's something I think that's really important for landscape photography because you don't wanna feel cramped, overwhelmed, and so on with a bag like this. You wanna be able to feel like everything's fluid and working really nicely. And I think that this bag does exactly that. And then kind of going back to that back axis you know, part, you know, that's really important too, especially when you're hiking, because when you put your bag on the ground, right, you don't wanna be making it so that it's front axis so that now your shoulder straps get dirty and you, want, you don't wanna really put that on. It makes the whole process a lot more, a lot less clean. And with this bag having back access, it's absolutely crucial for me. You know, it does beat up the front of the bag a bit, but I found that this bag is very, very durable. That's something we're gonna talk about in this video as well. But this bag is very durable. It can kind of go through everything. And it being dirty on the front is not really a big deal to me because you know that's not what we need to be clean all the time. We really need the bag to be the most clean. And you know, it's a bag, so it's gonna get dirty. That's just something you have to expect. But you know, having that back access is absolutely huge, absolutely crucial. And one thing that I kind of like, but also I'm a little bit eh about with this bag is the actual like side pockets that they decided to put in. And now I, I kind of understand why they did this because this bag is meant to be used as like a side access bag. Uh, I don't use a side access ever pretty much just because the way I, fun I set up my bag but I feel like the side pockets are not bad. They definitely can be improved upon because I just feel like they're not super intuitive, right? I'm able to put my tripod in there, maybe put my water bottle in there and having that expanded, you know, storage is definitely helpful. I can grab it in a pinch, but it just does not feel super intuitive, right? Like when I'm using the bag, it just feels like it's not meant to be a part of the bag. It's kind of just like thrown onto there. And that's something that I wish they could have improved upon a bit. I wish 
the side pockets were a bit more sturdier, a bit more intuitive and flowed much better with the bag. I just don't feel that with these side pockets and that's okay. That's always something you can improve upon. And the last sort of gripe I have about the storage aspect is that I feel like the top mesh compartment in terms of like the zipper components are not the most, let's say fluid. Like it's very hard to kind of get to them, especially when you have a bunch of stuff in there and it doesn't really necessarily organize very well. It's kind of just this huge open space where you just like throw stuff in and it's not bad, but it's definitely not preferable to something where like Pete Design has it, where they have nice co compartments and so on. I feel like that spot, that top compartment can be organized just a little bit better. But overall for storage, I think this bag does exactly what you need it to do for storage. It's not just the most intuitive in some aspects of the bag, but overall the goal of storage is to fit as much stuff as you can possible, have the space to be as, much, as efficient as possible. And I think this bag does that. And I mean, you're able to access everything at once. I think that's absolutely huge for landscape photography. So in general, I think storage definitely flows pretty nicely with this bag. Of course, a few things can be touched on there, but in general, storage works pretty well. Now let's go on to the second part that is absolutely crucial for me, especially when I'm picking out a landscape photography bag, and that's comfortability. And if I had to rate this bag in terms of how comfortable it is on these long hikes, I'd probably give it like a solid seven out of 10. And that's pretty good, I think. And my main reason for not giving it a higher score is just because I feel like it could be a little more comfortable. But we're gonna talk about the cons a little bit later, but first I really wanna dial in on load lifters. Now, I think the load lifters actually make a huge, huge difference when you're actually going out and shooting landscape photography, right? We're able to have a much comfortable experience. You're able to put more weight on your hips. You're able to take more weight off of your shoulders. And that's absolutely huge. And load lifters do exactly that. And I'm really just able to take this thing on pretty long hikes. Like the most amount of miles I think I've taken this thing on is probably around 10 or 15. And in that hike, you're able to, you know, you do feel the weight on your hips. And the main goal is to make sure that weight is coming off your shoulder. And I think this bag does that. And it just it just works well. It's very comfortable. You know, I, I just really wish that the hip belt was a bit bigger. I feel like the hip belt could be improved upon for sure. I just feel like when I'm using it, you know, I'm not, I don't necessarily have the most support from my hips, right? Like I wish that hip belt was a bit bigger, a bit more sturdier and something that was much well integrated into the bag. I actually don't mind the fact that the hip belts don't like put come up and it's a little bit easier to store. I'm fine with it kind of like dangling around there because when I'm using this bag, I am strictly using it for landscape photography, nothing else. But I just feel like that hip belt could be improved upon, be a bit more sturdier, you know, have some confidence that that belt is gonna do its job. And I think that's really important at the end of the day because I'm carrying easily, man, 15 pounds on my back easily. And you wanna make sure that the gear that you're using, the bag that you're using is as sturdy as possible. You don't wanna feel like you have to put more weight on your shoulders than you have to, right? You really wanna feel like the hip belt is doing the work and taking all the load of the weights. But overall, I do feel like this bag is very comfortable. I don't feel like you know, I, my shoulders are hurting at the end of the day. I do feel like it sticks pretty well to my back. And overall, I think comfortability is a big aspect of this bag, which is why I think you know, a lot of landscape photographers are definitely gonna gravitate towards it because you don't wanna be going on these long hikes and your shoulders are hurting all the time. It's just not a fun experience. So let's move on to the third part, which is travel. And now this is actually a very important aspect for me because you know, when you're shooting landscape photography, you're gonna wanna have a bag that's capable of travel. First of all, something that's really important to me at least is that you can take this on a flight and use it as a carry-on bag and for me that's huge because I, first of all i'm I, I the last thing i want to do is check in my photography gear and let the airlines deal with easily ten thousand dollars worth of gear like that's that's just not something i want to do you heard the horror stories of people losing their bags and the fact that i'm able to just take this with me onto a flight like, as a carry-on is absolutely huge i feel much more safe much more secure and you don't have to pay those extra fees of checking in an extra bag so this bag travels very, very well, definitely fits under those seats and is a huge component of why I really like this bag. In addition to just being able to fit anywhere, this is able to fit a lot of extra stuff, including your photography gear with that top compartment. And again, like while you're traveling, it still does not make a huge difference. It has a nice laptop sleeve in the back. You know, when I was picking out this bag, I was like, why am I, why on earth would I use a laptop sleeve? But I've actually found it to be incredibly useful the only part is I feel like when you have that the laptop in the laptop sleeve and you open it, a lot of that weight kind of shifts to, you know, that back where you're supposed to like put the zipper on it. It, it just, it's just a lot of weight on there. It, it makes me a little bit, you know, hesitant to use it sometimes, but in general, it does a job of what I need it to do. So definitely two, two thumbs up for that. You're able to fit a bunch of stuff, you know, that you would need for traveling. 
So for travel, this bag is very, very good. I really would not change much about it for traveling. So let's talk about the fourth component, which is long-term durability. And for landscape photographers, you know, we don't change out our gear very often, actually. The main things that we change out are probably the bodies, but not even then, because, you know, a lot of the time the bodies kind of do what they have to do. But long-term durability is absolutely huge, especially for a bag like this. You're putting it on the ground all the time. You're picking it up, you're taking it places. You're going through very rough conditions. You're carrying a lot of stuff in the bag. Durability is absolutely huge. And this, this bag definitely checks off all the boxes I need. You know, it's always putting up with the sand, the floor, dust, snow, everything I throw at it, it just comes out absolutely nice and clean. It's very water resistant to the elements, so I don't have to worry about if I'm in the rain, I was gonna get dirty, like the gear inside's gonna get, you know, harmed. It, it definitely does a good job in making sure that, you know, the gear is protected as well as the bag is staying clean. And what I really love about this bag is that because it's bag access, the front part of it, the material is nice and durable. And you know, you can just kind of put it anywhere and it's just gonna do its thing and not be, you know, not get messed up. It just, I have not had any problems with durability and I have no concerns in the long term about it getting messed up or something happening with it because I just really feel like this bag does a great job at, you know, staying durable. The material is very durable. So yeah, I really have no problems in the long term future of it. I think it's gonna do a great job. So before I jump into the conclusion, there are a few things I do wanna mention. One of the things I want to mention is that a lot of the, you know, a lot of the interesting parts about this bag that appeal to a lot of people, like for example, like the feature of having the phone pocket, I mean, that looks pretty cool a lot of people. Also having the side access looks really cool. But I found that I have not used either of these features really ever, to be honest. Like I never use a phone po pocket because now you're introducing weight onto your shoulder. And for those long hikes, it's, it's really not ideal. I'd rather just throw it, throw my phone into my pocket and just be done with it. And I don't use a side axis because, and I thought I thought I was gonna use side axis a lot, but first of all, when I'm actually out there shooting landscape photography, the side axis does not really make a difference because I wanna access all of my gear at once. And with side axis, I would only be able to access my wide angle, my Z6 with the 14 to 30. That is the only thing I'd be able to access. And when I'm shooting, I really need access to, especially when I'm doing video, like my mics and then my monitor and stuff, as well as you know the rocket blower, and you want access to your filters, especially that's a big one. And you know it just does not make a difference for me in my style of shooting. I'm sure in a pinch some people will like it, but for me it just does not make a big difference. And plus, when I actually have my bag organized and set up, I have my water bottle on the side, so in reality it does not really benefit me to actually use a side axis because I lose a lot of storage. So I just have to hold my water bottle the whole time, and that's definitely not ideal. So it's really interesting because they tout a lot of these different features, but I found that I've just never used them. But even putting those aside, you know, this bag is really, really good, guys. It sounds like I was being pretty negative throughout the video, but in general, there just is no perfect bag for landscape photography, but this bag does come pretty close. So yeah, let's jump right into the conclusion. And if I had to summarize this bag in one word, it would be niche. Niche is definitely the word to describe this bag because this is a bag designed for landscape photographers. It's a bag designed for people who are out there hiking and traveling. And this bag definitely fits a lot of the key components that we need in a great landscape photography bag. We're talking incredible utilization of storage, I think is a huge one, as well as comfortability and travel. Those three components by itself make this bag a really, really attractive offer to a lot of landscape photographers out there. Of course, there's gonna be absolutely no perfect landscape photography bag. There are so many things I would like to improve on this. Like for example, having a larger hip belt. I would love to see the shoulder straps being a little bit more comfortable. I would like to see the space inside being used a little bit more efficiently. I would like to see you know, the side pockets kind of integrate much better into the bag. But in general, I, I really don't have much to complain about this bag. I think it does a great job for what I need and it hits the key components of what makes a landscape photography bag great. For landscape photographers, this is gonna be the bag that I think is gonna be you know, useful for 99% of landscape photographers. There's that really tiny niche that would probably need a bag bigger than this. But overall, it's an incredible bag. It is almost, almost perfect if for what I want in a landscape photography bag. But overall, here's the key checkpoints, and I really think that a lot of you guys would be happy with this bag. So if you are interested in this bag at all, I do have a link down in the comment section down below. It is an affiliate link, so I do just get a small commission, but in no way, shape, or form does it alter, you know, my opinions towards being biased for this product. I try to, you know, do my best to review it in the most objective way possible. So 
Anyways, guys, let me know what you think about this bag. Would you pick up a bag like this for your landscape photography? Let me know down in the comment section down below. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for experiencing the world with me today. And rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.